Hello and welcome to Civilization 6 once again, and I should probably start this off with saying you'll probably notice here that I finally got this uh, city here. Yeah, the uh, last recording I did, I got through the entire thing before I realized that my microphone was unplugged. So, yeah. Gonna have to just move on, I guess, because I already did the game save, so I can't really go back. But anyway, I'm starting up an encampment here just so I can have something there. After I took that city, I declared uh, peace with them, but they're already... Uh, Poland is already thinking about declaring war on me, according to my lady-in-waiting. And... I'm also a little frightened that Spain is going to try and do a sneak attack on my southern border. And I also got my second... American colony started, and I'm about to start my third up here on the west coast of North America. Although, now that I think about it, though, I mean, I already have lots of diamonds that I saw in my resource list. Maybe I could get the niter and the coal and the diamonds. Or I could go to Hawaii and get diamonds, niter, and iron. And either way I'm getting either way I'm getting diamonds some way. And I actually don't know if I have marble. I know I'm about to improve that with that worker right there. I don't know if I've got any marble other than that. Let's see, how do I... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Collapse all, there we go. Cattle, whales, wine, sugar, dyes, cocoa, fish, rice, pearls, horses, coal, citrus, niter, cotton, diamonds, truffles. I don't have any... Well, yeah, I don't have any marble. Yeah, perhaps it would be prudent to see what's over here. Okay, next turn. Oh, you want my coal and my chocolate for 14 gold per turn. That's not bad. Or technically it's like 14 gold per 33 turns, if you count for the 55. And they'll give me open borders. I'll give them open borders too. Hmm. I kind of want to try to be a little more willing to give and trade. I gotta realize, <clears throat> excuse me, I gotta realize that the AI aren't usually going to give luxury resources for luxury resources in this game, kind of like they were in Civilization V. If Poland declares war on me again, though, I'm just gonna wipe them out, because I'm getting sick of their shit. Okay, got that pikeman going up over there. I'll have them meet up, and then they can link into a group. Wait a minute. Auto select. Ow! Ah, that is so annoying. Ooh, there is a tribal village. And there is some coal, so that is more worth it. And there is some crab. Lots of crab, actually. I have got all this fish here that I have done nothing with. Purchase builder. And an encampment. Mm, I don't need uh, a commercial hub. Entertainment complex. I've got, I've got plenty of amenity. I did that. I've got plenty of amenities. I could probably go for some more housing though. Oh shit! I've only got two places for it. Okay, actually, I'm gonna have to think about this because I don't have a lot of space. Industrial zone. Okay, an industrial zone can go there. I definitely want the aqueduct there. 
But how much uh, bonus production can a quarry for stone really give you? Hmm. I think I'll go with the aqueduct here for now, just so I can get some more, some extra housing. A little buffer there. And they are going to fortify. They're moving there. Then when that encampment is done, they can camp out in there. Fortify. One turn until that industrial zone is done. Yes. Gosh, I've got all this territory here that I've done a whole lot of nothing with. Uh, purchase a builder. Where? Oh, already then. Move in there so they can link up next turn. Still not entirely certain if I want to found a city here because it's pretty close to the Aztecs, really. Hopefully I can use that caravel to see a little further inland. Oh, actually, no, probably not, because that was probably the uh, caravel that went along there anyway. Gosh, it's so hard to keep up with all that. Joining forces with the other nations has started a chain reaction of scientific advancements. Will the next push be chemistry? Hey, cool. Okay. Make a link. I've got this builder here. Oh, that's plus one production and gold. Now, I'm just wondering. I mean, are you getting any sort of decent bonus from actually using these is this late in the game or do the fish the fishy fishy and yes now I got some marble that I can trade good I can produce in Paris again I never made that because I yeah I don't have any wheat or rice sitting around, do I? Not that I see. Yes, yeah, so there's not much of a point in building that, especially at this point. <clears throat> Provides the same defense bonus for improvement. Must be built on a hill adjacent to an encampment district. That would give me an extra military policy, actually. Oh, I'm going to have to replace that chateau. That's sad. I would like to build a wonder. I mean, it's kind of France's thing anyway, so probably should. Oh, what in Perpignan? Oh, I am starting to get a little short on housing. What can I do for housing? Probably not much. No, not right. Hey, Oxford University. That'll take 46 turns, though. Holy cow. Must be adjacent to a campus. Damn. I'm going to go with the theater square so I can get more culture. Uh, I'll do that. Right there. What can I do in Magburg? How are we doing on housing? Got three housing. Oh, a bank. That would not be a bad idea. Although, I can get some more housing from the barracks. That's good. I'll use that. Mm, should I circle around? Yeah. See what's up here.
Oh yes, and I discovered Australia Ike. as well. Ike. That's the second time they've denounced me. Whatever. I don't care. We have different governments. Oh, shush. Poland is no longer seeking a science victory. What kind of victory are they seeking then? Because that has me a little worried. They could be going for a domination victory. They better not be. Because I'll slap them down just like I did last time. And they thought they could take Brussels. Slash Eindhoven. Okay. Go on yonder north. And you see what's up in here. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I definitely just found my uh, next city location. It's going to be right here. And I'm going to buy that tile. Actually, no. It's, I'm going to put it here. No, I'll put it here. That way I can travel in between right there. And improve the fish. And then I'm going to improve that crab over in my second city. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Go with a farm. Provides 0.5 housing. And next turn. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Spy and Port-au-Prince succeeded in stealing a boost in plastics. Port a prince of all places. That's weird. Trajan and Nzinga made peace. I don't even know they were at war. Um, Caravel. Yeah, I just have you camp there, basically. Oh. I can improve him to a ironclad. I will do that when I get the chance. He's got one build action remaining. God, I'm really needing to improve this stuff. Ooh. Actually, let's go up to the pearls. Using the last build on the pearls. Since I don't think I have pearls. He's actually got one build left. Let's go over to the tobacco and do that. So that leaves one fish, the crab, the chocolate, the marble. I'm going to purchase another builder over here. Whoa, what's up, England? What are you guys doing? Hey, you got red coats. That's interesting. Rome built a neighborhood in Thebes. Yeah, I'll be your friend, why not? I have no idea what the other global relations are, but... I'll risk it. So I'm friends with Nzinga, and Victoria, and Pedro is friendly towards me, but we haven't declared a friendship. Maybe I'll try declaring a friendship with him. Couldn't hurt to try. And I realized after going all the way over here, I can just click on his little name here. Establish a residency or resident embassy. I'm going to declare friendship. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think he would go for that, but couldn't hurt to try. Actually, do I have, yeah, establish an embassy. I'll do the same with Australia. And he's going for the tobacco. I'll have him go for the marble. I really hope there's not a barbarian right there. Oh, need to go back that way? Damn. What in Magburg? I'm going to go... Actually. All apostles you create gain the martyr ability in addition to a second ability you choose normally. You chose normally. Must be built on floodplains or marsh, which I have a marsh. Hmm. Plus two faith, plus two relic slots. 
Great Zimbabwe. Hey, plus one trade route. Your trade routes from this city get plus two gold from every bonus resource in the city's territory. It must be built and adjacent to a commercial hub district with a market and adjacent to cattle. Oh my gosh. That sounds all quite complicated. I don't think I have that. Or do I? Oh wow. I think I do actually. Oh, that wild card policy. Oh, I think I will do that. It's going to take 23 turns to get finished. That's done in six. I don't think we're going to be able to build that there, though. So, two envoys. Carthage has no suzerain. How is that even possible? How about Valletta? Trajan with six. Yeah, let's get. See if I can get Carthage. God, I really hope I don't lose Geneva and Einhoven in the process, though. As long as I don't see that Poland is uh, thinking of declaring war on me again. Builders almost over to the pearls. Okay, you go up there. Yes, pearls, baby. Oh, America got a doubloon. In eight turns, I can start building some archaeologists. Although, I, don't, I think I've tried using them before, and I couldn't quite figure it out. I'm going to have to... What? Oh, and I killed. Really, Japan sent another spy here. Oh, those a-holes. No innovation in the past 200 years has done more to save lives and improve health than the sanitation revolution triggered by the invention of the toilet which the Romans had invented long before we had okay and skip turn choose research <coughs> excuse me oh man so where does it say I'm at I'm right here and Pedro and Japan are all the way in the information era? What? Oh my lord. I guess that makes sense since Europe is so freaking crowded. Economics. Stock exchange. Big Ben. Use my last build for the error. And last build, or not last build, but a build. Trade route. Oh, Rome 16. But Lisboa is 17. But again, I'm still a little apprehensive about going through Spanish territory because I still think they might try to declare war on me. An American trader. He actually going to my city? Oh, he's probably got it discovered. That's probably the thing. Purchase. I'll get a scout just so I can go up there and actually discover those cities. Then I can start trading with them. Five turns until that ironclad is done. My demands must be met. <laughs> Demand I give him more, that's funny. Refuse. 
Huh. Yeah, good luck with that, Aztecs. I'll just smack you guys down, too. Even though I have no military in the New World. Which I might want to consider. A research agreement for flight. Now, again, I, I don't know if that's really beneficial to me or not. And 72 gold. For my citrus and marble? What if you only gave me truffle? For 14 gold and 3 gold per turn? Yeah, I'm willing to, because of the research agreement. Because I think it might help me. I don't know. Oh, whoa. That just happened, didn't it? Oh, there's more silver up there, too. How awesome. Amphitheater, huh? Oh, yeah, more culture, for sure. And I'm a little nervous of the Aztecs, but I can't really build any military here. I'm just going to have to purchase. And at the moment, all I can really do is defensive purchases. Yeah, I'm gonna get a privateer. Construct a university or a harbor. I think I'll go with the harbor first. Okay. Get me some more chocolate. And you skip your turn again. And I'm going to send this scout up here. It's going to take a good four turns. Rome completed the research on electricity. I don't have electricity yet, I think. Or do I? I don't even know, honestly. I don't think I do. Oh no, I do not have it yet. That just goes to show how far behind I am. Found city. Yosemite <gasps> Valley to me is always a sunrise. A glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. Nice, I discovered Yosemite. Hey, natural history. In all works on natural history, we constantly find details of the marvelous adaptation of animals to their food, their habits, and the localities in which they are found. Awesome. Okay, let's explore up there. And uh, with a privateer building a harbor here so I'm gonna send him there and have you be alert that's only 220 at upgrading yeah I'm gonna upgrade him scorched earth or urbanization I definitely want urbanization because I need the housing Tijuana oh what do I want in Tijuana do I want water mill sewer holy site no I'll go with the water mill <clears throat> excuse me what can I purchase oh I can either purchase a water mill or a sewer oh wait yeah, I want to build or build I want to buy a builder hell I should buy two builders I think I will next turn as well. And I've got two more envoys I can send out. Send them um, to Carthage. Nice. 
nice. Now I'm Suzerain of Carthage, or partial Suzerain, I believe. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah, you probably wouldn't see it because those recordings were fucked up. Uh, yeah, he said that my culture was very lacking in the last recording. So I've already proven him wrong in the next uh, 30 minutes, basically. Hey, my knowledge of flight advanced. How very nice. Almost got a Hombra, yeah, baby. Everything here appears calculated to inspire kind and happy feelings. For everything is delicate and beautiful. Lovely. Beautiful. How about you go screw yourself? Because you're not. I am. How about I build another wonder just to uh, kind of do a big middle finger to them? <laughs> Must be a long river, huh? Alright. Yep, remove the woods. I don't care. And let's purchase another builder. Fill my empty policy slot. I need another military policy slot. Or I could do a wild card, I think, couldn't I? Oh, wait, no. I think I can only do a military. Units have 50% less combat strength, reduction from being injured, 50% protection towards industrial and modern era melee and range units, 100% protection towards renaissance, plus one movement starting if starting turn is in friendly territory. That's actually not a bad idea, because that would be good for defense. 50% discount on all unit upgrades, that's also not bad. Uh, combat victories over units from earlier eras provide gold. Production towards medieval renaissance and industrial era heavy light or heavy and light cavalry units. Yields gained from pillaging doubled. 30% production towards encampment districts and buildings for that district. Plus one amenity for cities with a garrison unit. Yields gained from pillaging are doubled. Um, what I want. I think I'll do that, honestly. 50% production toward industrial and modern era melee and range units. Actually, let's go back. Because I want to see it'd be like five turns here, six, 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 five. So it's like six, five for all that. Let's go change my policies and then crap. Where is it? There's some reduction towards industrial and modern air land melee and range units. Okay, that confirm policies. Yes. And it didn't really make a difference. Oh, wait. Let's check again. Well, kind of did. Move things down like one or two turns. That's not bad. Probably better in cities like this. Yeah, it definitely did improve, actually, because it was like 30 turns for an ironclad here. That's not bad. Oh, increased trade route capacity. Oh my gosh. Wow, I need more trade routes. Let's get the silver. Have that baby be alert. Oh, wait, maybe a bunch of my trade routes just ended. That could be it, too. 15 to Roma... 14 Poznan. Oxford is 15 as well. Think I will go to Rome. Begin route. Chocolate baby. 
Cause everybody loves chocolate except for people who have chocolate allergies. Why am I singing? Come on, Scout. Get over there so I can trade with them. Um, not the Suzerain of Carthage now. God damn it. Australia completed research on satellites. Oh my god. And Brazil completed research on nuclear fission. And here I am still researching economics and flight. Oh god. I think it's safe to say I suck at this game. But it's still fun to try. It just means it's more of a challenge. That makes it even more fun. Ooh, I could build a chateau. Let's get the crab. What do I want to do with you, builder? I could build another chateau somewhere, maybe. Like over here. I think I can. I'll try when I get there. Oh, he can't move. Okay, next turn. Oh, wait. I can move him now. Can I please discover one of their cities? And make a deal for open borders. Everybody likes mutual open borders. Nice. Now I can start trading with them. That trader will be done in two turns. Poland denounced America. Poland is seeking a cultural victory now. Interesting. They might actually be able to achieve that. If they do things right. Oh, someone stole something. A tech boost. To chemistry, of course. Son of a bitch. I think it's safe to say I need to build some spies. Ooh, antiquity site. Oh, God, that's so far away from any cities that have any uh, flipping universities so I can get a, an actual archaeologist. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, I don't need hills to build a chateau, apparently. Build a chateau. Oh, ironclad's done. Yay. Alert. Choose production. Let's have my scout go here just to see what's going on. I almost feel like I should declare war on the Aztecs just to keep America from falling and the Aztecs from getting more powerful. I almost think I will do that. I'm not really going to have the ability to do much. I mean, I've got a privateer and a frigate. I don't believe I can purchase anything else. Nope, I don't have the money for anything else, except for another trader. Oh, wait. Oh, I understand. Okay, I think being Suzerain of Carthage got me more trade routes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I should probably get them back then. Because having 13 trade routes, that's pretty freaking awesome. University in Nantes. Oh, actually. Why don't I send them over? Because my thoughts on Spain invading me are kind of dwindling. I mean, they're still there. I'm still a little paranoid about it, but it's not as bad as it was. It was only nine turns producing another frigate, so... Yeah, I'll send them both on over. <clears throat> and I'll send over my guard Imperial with the musket man. Still kind of wondering what's uh, 
what is England doing here? I mean, they've had these units just sitting here for the longest time now. Oh my god, Japan's got planes. Ugh. America just earned... Oh, Erwin Schrodinger. And the Aztecs have airplanes. I am so far behind everybody else. Oh my god, that is really not cool. Can I upgrade my pikemen yet? I would like to. Let's get some coal, baby. I only have one extra coal. Have I been trading it all away or am I using it for... Oh, I think ironclads require coal. Yes, they do. That makes sense. Okay, that trader's done. Do I want to do another builder? Because I got that fish there and that crab. Oh, wait, no, I already improved that crab, I think. Did I? No, I haven't improved that crab yet. Oh, he's on his way over there, though. Yeah, there's not exactly any more resources to improve, per se. It would just be base improvements. I could work on starting up a little military force here. Hmm... Yeah, I'll work on another guard Imperial. He'll probably be ready by the time my other military units get there. Unit needs orders. This trader needs orders. Let's see, he can go to Charleston. Villa, uh, Panama. Yeah, Charleston and Panama. Yeah, safe to say we're going to go to Charleston. I like me having some uh, varying trade routes. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I couldn't move there, that's weird. Okay, let's get that Guard Imperial out of here. And my boats, my boots. You know, I just remembered something. What is he, wait, what? He's just waiting? Fortify until healed, what the hell? I think, I've got another scout too. Is he, oh my gosh, seriously? They what? I could have swore I fortified until healed for both of them. That is really weird. Hmm. Oh, hey. They're actually... Yeah, they're... <laughs> I can have them meet up eventually. Then have them fight their way out together. That'd be kind of cool. They'll I'd probably die, but whatever. That'll definitely be a little side goal for me. I want to have both of these scouts move, uh, meet up up here above uh, Eur Eurasia, I suppose. Yes, because this is yeah, Europe and Asia. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end this video here. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them down below in the comment section. I hope you have a great day and peace out.